content strategy is everything. In fact, content strategy comes before marketing strategy. And a lot of people don't know this. You should not actually be even thinking about your marketing strategy until you have established a bona fide, well worked out content strategy. Now by content, I mean what videos are you gonna produce, what ads are gonna be like, what your web pages are that are gonna convert traffic, what follow-up information you're gonna to send to people, what blogs you need to create, what social media posts you should be scheduling. All of this needs to be worked out and informed by your content strategy. So before you start producing content and then advertising it out to people, what is it that you should be making and why? So a good content strategy looks at your customer personas. The customer persona is basically who do you sell to? Each company that we work with, whether they're B2B or B2C, has discrete people as part of the sales process that they target. You could target, for instance, people in different geographies, different company sizes. You could target different job titles like the CEO versus the finance director. They could all be involved in your sales process. And you need to have the right content that appeals to each of those different personas. Each one will have slightly different reasons for wanting to work with your business and will have slightly different things they need to see in order to convince them to go with you. So you need to work out precisely and be able to live in the mind of your target prospect. What is it that motivates them? What, is, what are their fears? And what can they get solved by your specific services or products? So by doing a workshop on your personas and using experts to do that, you're going to really, really have the right foundation to your content and then marketing strategy. As well as this, you need to work out not only what personas you go after, but you need to have a look at your buyer's journey. So what content should you be producing for people that are at the top of the funnel, i.e. people that are just becoming aware of your company, and what content is gonna convince people who are already looking for a supplier? The best way to illustrate this is by using the example of someone that's on LinkedIn that sees an ad that isn't thinking of using a marketing agency, let's say. They are probably doing things okay, they're plodding along with their marketing, they're going to need to have something really compelling in order to think about changing their marketing supplier or their marketing team. Whereas somebody who's searching on the internet, who's at the bottom of the funnel and actually searching into Google Marketing Agency London, just needs to see a page about why your agency is the best, why they should be working with you, what are your awards, etc. So the two different people need different content. So I guess what this all means together is you need to have an understanding of what content goes to what persona in what stage of the buyer's journey. So by working this all out at, at the beginning, you're gonna be able to know, right, this is exactly the content we need to produce at all of these different stages. It's at that point that you can then work out how are we gonna get this content out to people? Are we gonna use LinkedIn? Are we gonna use Facebook? Are we gonna use Google? It really depends on where your customers are. But this content strategy is basically what's going to inform how you go out and market and build your marketing strategy. I hope that makes sense and please take content strategy seriously and don't start thinking about where you're going to advertise until you've worked that out. Hope to speak to you soon. Take care.